In this video, I will show you the three best AI resume building services, and you can find links to these products in the description of the video. Let's get started. Alrighty, so as the first awesome AI resume builder on the list, we have a tool called SheetsResume.com. This is a super easy to use AI powered platform that will create your resume in less than 30 minutes. Well, if you're using these options, it will take probably less than 15 minutes, but nonetheless, it is an impressive tool and I absolutely love it. And now I will show you how to use it. First and foremost, once you're on the homepage, just pick one of these options. So start from scratch, start with your LinkedIn profile, or start with your existing resume. And I'm going to go with the start with your LinkedIn profile first. Here I'm going to copy paste my LinkedIn URL and um, you can find this by just visiting your LinkedIn page and clicking your profile and then copy pasting the URL here. And then you can optionally tell a little bit about yourself. And I have pre-written this because I did this yesterday. So I want to become a top SEO expert in the market. And this is basically the goal that I'm telling the AI resume builder. And now I can just click generate resume and it will take for a while for the AI to fetch the information from my LinkedIn profile and to put it in a form of a resume. And there we go. So in about 30 seconds, the AI was able to pull my information from the internet and now it's in a form of a resume here on the right hand side. And you can always see your preview here on the right and then whatever you do on the left is going to be reflected on the preview here on the right immediately. So now just make sure to fill in all your information. And this is basic stuff, so I'm not going to show you how to do that. But then when we go to, for example, work history, what you can do here is you can click add work history, and then you can tell the company name and job title. And here, if you, for example, place coder in the job title, you can click AI suggestions, and it is going to say software developer. So that sounds better in resume. So that's where you can use AI. And then also you can do the similar thing here in the company description. So you can just tell a little bit about the company and then click on AI suggestions to make it sound a bit more interesting. And you can also do the responsibility and achievement. So you can do coding apps and you can click on AI help, quick AI suggestions, or even do the AI chat assistant thing here. So if you don't know how to describe your job in a way that makes it attractive in the job markets, just pick these features and the AI will come up with something that makes more sense. So for instance, design and develop innovative applications utilizing modern programming languages and frameworks. So this sounds a lot better, although a bit generic, but a lot better than just coding apps because that doesn't sound like I am too motivated about writing this resume. So then I can add the, another bullet point. We can do another responsibility. I can click remove here easily and I can also click save. And now you can always see this here on the right hand side that what you just added into the mix. And then you can also go to the education. You can do a similar thing here. So you can find your school name with AI. You can tell about the degree with AI. You can do the location with AI. Well, you can remove your education there. You can do the certification. So if you have taken some certifications, you can use AI to find the ones that you have taken you if you don't remember what those exactly were. You can do the same with the skills here. So you can add some skills and do AI suggestions here. You can do the interests. So the same goes here, add some interest, make the interest look a bit better using AI and then you can always export your resume and then you can always come back to this page you can create from for example from your existing resume so you can just drop a file here and let the ai generate your resume and that does it for you here and then you can also go to the start from scratch option where you can actually fill in all your all your details to this tool and then it will spit it out in a form of a resume and just one tip to give is that make sure to utilize this AI chat feature here. So for example, if I go to the work history and I click create this work experience with AI chat, it will open up a chat box and then you can start typing in messages here and you can ask the AI to optimize your work experience to this resume in a resume optimal format. And that is how you build a resume using AI and combining your knowledge and skill into the mix, which in my opinion is the best way to use AI. So you should never create one of these from complete scratch without touching those, but you shouldn't do that from complete scratch manually either because it takes so long time and you always doubt yourself when doing so. So this AI based template and AI based chat features are going to get you there a lot faster. 
And as the next awesome AI-based resume builder on this list, we have Canva. So you can go to canva.com slash create slash resumes or just click the link below to create or find this page. And then just head over here and click create a free resume. And Canva is an online design platform. So here you need to do some manual work. And um, let me show you a couple of features and then let's discuss whether you should use a platform like this or not. So first and foremost, once you have the blank canvas over here, you don't need to go with that. You can just choose the design on the left hand side here and then you can pick one of these templates. And for example, I'm going to use this one that I used previously. Um, as you can see now, the information is first and foremost written in Swedish and also there is an image of person that is not me. But now let me quickly show you how you can modify things here. So first and foremost, let's change the image. So if I click on the image and I hit the backspace button, it will delete the image for me. And now I can drag and drop an image of myself into the view, for example here, and then I can just drag it on this frame or whatever it is called. And now it is neatly placed over here. And I can obviously resize and reshape it and drag it around and whatever I wanna do. Now the image is taken care of, then I will also need to change my name. So I'll just double click this text here and it will say Arturialli. And now I can start to um, tweak this other piece of text here. I would say that one thing that's super useful in Canva is that it is very intuitive and easy to use. So they have done a lot of work to nail the user experience. So for instance, here is my image. And as you can see, the background is, well, it's beige, almost white, but I'd like it to match the color of this background on the right-hand side. So now what I can do is I can click on this one, then I can click, click on the background color, and I can go to the photo color section. So it will pick colors from this photo that I just dropped in. And if I click here, it will now match the color from the photo. So now it looks better. So it matches the color scheme basically. Then obviously another super powerful thing you can do here is you can use AI to write text. So for example, we can highlight this part over here or I can just basically click this part, whatever you wanna do. I can click this, then I can click this magic write feature and then it says transform text, rewrite, fix spelling, continue writing, shorten, more fun, more formal, Change voice. So if you have just informally produced some text, some experiences or expertise about yourself, you can just ask the AI to continue writing or fix spelling or rewrite the section or whatever it is. That actually brings me to the next thing. So whether you should use a tool like this or not. Well, first and foremost, if you have never used Canva before and if you're not planning to use it anywhere else, Maybe using it for building a resume is a bit of an overkill because you still need to learn how to use these controls over here and the functions. And also, you might need to subscribe to a paid plan if you're using some professional templates. For example, this one is a professional template, this one as well. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. But then last but not least, it's actually very important to understand that these kinds of very well-designed and visually appealing resumes are not the best in the market because of those tools called ATS or application tracking system. So if you're mass sending your resumes, there might be systems that are missing these or that are just simply ignoring templatized resumes like this because they can't read this well enough. So it's actually best to have just a white piece of paper and black text on it based on what I've heard and based on what I have understood if you're mass sending your resume. But obviously if you're applying for a uh, a specific role and you're sending this over an email and you know that the person is going to look through it, then obviously feel free to use a resume like this. But the fact that it looks cool doesn't automatically mean it's good. It's actually in some cases even worse. So those are just a couple of things to keep in mind. So it has a bit of a learning curve and it's not ATS optimized. So please keep that in mind. And then speaking of writing an ATS optimized resume to maximize your reach, make sure to check these Fiverr Pro resume writing gigs because these are super affordable these days. Thanks to the fact that these talented individuals are actually using AI to streamline their workflow. So they are combining AI with actual knowledge and skill, which is, I think, um, the best way to use AI in general. And um, I, I have left a link to this page in the description, so you will find it there. Once you're on this page, pick a talent, then you can go here to contact them and literally start a chat and ask questions from them before you do anything. So this is super handy. Everything takes place here on the Fiverr platform. 
I recommend Omar. He created a super professional resume for me. And I have actually written this separate review of this service, but I will quickly run it through. So I went to the page, I contacted him, told him that I'm interested in a resume. Then he sent me this custom offer on Fiverr. Everything pl takes place in the same place. Um, I accepted the offer and paid the gig. Then he asked me some questions related to my working experience and history and my position and roles that I'm searching for. And then a day after he sent me this super ATS optimized resume. And I have to say that at first I was like, wait a second, this looks like a 20 year old resume. It doesn't look like something that has been put together today. But then actually he told me about this ATS system. So I hadn't heard of this term before, I have to admit. And then I was like, oh, okay, that makes a lot of sense. So I'm not even supposed to get like a, like a professional visual appealing look to my resume, but rather have just some black text on a white piece of paper with these links and these keywords. Um, but yeah, then he also sent me some templates so I could track my process. There's an interview guide called email template. Thank you, follow up template. You get all these bonuses here from Omar as well. So this was a super nice gig and I learned a lot. It created or he created me a super professional resume. And um, yeah, it was fast, works well, ATS optimized and stuff like that.